you might be wondering why I'm in black and white right now. I don't actually know. Hey guys, what's up everyone here? And today we're gonna to be talking about social media and I know a lot of people tend to do these humongous overviews of social media saying, oh, you have to do this and you have to have all the Instagrams and all of the G pluses and all of the MySpaces, but I'm going to say no to that. And instead, I'm going to stick to one very simple idea about social media today. And yes, my hair is like half back and open. And I can't remember the last time that I didn't wear a hat in a video. Anyway, back to the topic on hand, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to give you a giant comprehensive guide. Instead, I'm going to tell you one very simple, it's not a trick, it's just a tip, which I guess is the topic of this show. Back on topic! Right, so today's tip is to fill out your profile data. And this might seem like a really weird thing to say, I mean, you already do that. Right? But a lot of people don't realize that there are a lot of missed opportunities in not completely filling out a profile. For example, a wonderful viewer of mine recently showed me that my Google Plus page was slightly out of date. So to me, it doesn't matter too much, like in my personal position, because I'm going to be rebranding everything very soon, so my Facebooks and all that are still kind of in the old. But a lot of people not in the same position as I am currently are missing out on humongous potential when they're not completing their profiles. For example, one thing I absolutely hate is when someone sends me a message on Skype and it's just their username. Now I realize Skype isn't the greatest tool for, you know, meeting people and, and marketing yourself, but at least if you're a creator trying to engage with another creator, include your YouTube URL or your Twitter, at least include a link in, in your status so that someone can actually go there and click on it. I usually put mine at the end, so I have both my YouTube channels there at the end, and I'm actually probably gonna be changing that to my Twitter very soon, just because um, I like Twitter. So, Captain Obvious, please continue. <laughs> I will, very handsome devil. So often I will see a Twitter account without any link to their YouTube channel, and while yes, you may have your automatic Twitter saving, uh, you know, checkbox checked so that whenever you upload a video it goes to your Twitter and people can still find your YouTube channel from there. But if someone doesn't have the time to go through all of your tweets and just want to just wants to find out who you are, it's stupid to not include at least some kind of link in your profile and your bio. A lot of the times what I'll see is that the link is actually incorrect and I've actually tweeted quite a few people in the past letting them know, hey bud, I think your link is a little wrong. And if you ever see anyone whose link is wrong, make sure to tweet them too because that's something that can be quite important. But to prevent that, you should make sure that it's not! Just do it yourself, and then you don't look like a fool. I looked like a fool in the past. Trust me, I probably do right now. <sighs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very basic tip, but it's a very important one, too. Make sure to leave a suggestion for next time. Uh, this one wasn't suggested by anyone. Next week's will be suggested, and trust me, that is going to be a funny episode, I think. And I hope. I really do. Anyway guys, if you want to see the best tweet in the world about men shoving steaks onto their face, make sure to follow me on Twitter because I tweeted about that. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time! Click the links if you want to see more from Freedom, and if you want to see more of my ugly mug, just click right here.